This single woman with two babies as blessings has been a single mom for 14 years and making it happen. And on this day, I had to go ahead and drop Heaven off to school because we are doing this each and every day. Dropping her off to the school, picking her up. Then we had to do our handshake because, you know, you got to spread the love. I'm glad she had a smile on her face leaving the school. That's very important to me because she hasn't been saying the greatest things about this school. Is it high school or is it this school? I think a lot of it has to do with both. And then it was time to come back to the house and get Starfly ready for the day. She wanted to play with the water with the dishes. <laughs> and here it is. I'm like, wave at me. Make sure you wave at me. Getting on the bus. This bus driver, I really do like this bus driver. He seems to have a lot of patience. And that's very helpful. Especially when you look around and you see that they always hiring. A lot of these school districts are hiring bus drivers, y'all. Like, the last two school districts have been hiring bus drivers each and every year. And maybe it's also just in general in the school, but either way, this day is it was really cold. So, you know, we getting in fall here. And look at all the pretty trees being in the Pacific Northwest. I went to get some gas. I had to go in because I had some cash that I was using because I'm balling on a budget for right now. And I'm at the 76 because I had to fuel up because I also needed to go to the Boys and Girls Club and pay them for the little cub to have pizza on Fridays because at this specific location, that's what they do is pizza on Fridays. So therefore, that is literally the only thing that I am paying for at the Boys and Girls Club. And if y'all don't know, the Boys and Girls Club is a after school program for families that got it like that or that may not have it like that. And you can apply for scholarships to be able to get your kids covered. I want to go ahead and pick up Heaven. And y'all, this lady's lips. Hold on. Did y'all see that? Y'all might have to rewind the video. She had the biggest injected lips. Let me say that. That I have ever seen. And had the nerve to roll off in one of my favorite cars, a Range Rover. I decided to let Heaven get a little bit of a treat because she has some points. And she she agreed. She <laughs> she agreed. I just got a snippet of it because the lady was parked by me and her lips were looking like that. Ooh, girl. And then I was trying to tell Heaven, look, that's what they do. They be trying to be like us. All right? Because, you know, we got that thick and richness, that thick and rich lips. And also, I did recently apply for some organizations help to get some gas cards. They had some groceries for me, a gift card. They also had some other resources. And we'll see if they gonna help me pay some of this rent. Y'all, when I say I am the resource queen, you know what I mean. I'm gonna make it happen for me and my babies. And today we just had some quick spaghetti because this was actually something that worked out. They gave me some spaghetti sauce. And I was like, yeah, let me do that. But, you know, you got to put a little sugar because the acid and the tomato sauce and the sugar, it just only makes sense. All right. So put some sugar in your tomato sauce and you got a taste test. So I'm using some of the pasta water to put it in the jar to be able to shake it up because it was a little thick. If you use these jars, usually if don't tell me I'll be using these jars and not thinning it out a little bit because these jars be having thick sauce, especially that Prego. That prey will be having thick sauce. So I thinned it out with the pasta water. And then I threw some parsley in that thing. Fresh parsley. I had this in the freezer. It came in handy for this meal. And we just had some spaghetti, y'all. Cheers to living a good life. Oh, then mama had to do some laundry. Because y'all know how it is. Peace and